presenting Elf Tales with adventure, romance, comedy, and danger. Like my costume? Okay, skip it. Anyway, it's a trick question. This isn't my costume. It's my underwear. Ah! Wait a second. This is more like it. As a matter of fact, today's show is sort of about costumes. Presenting the Emperor's New Clothes. Love that LR. And what have we today, Lord Bloomingdale? Leisure wear, Your Excellency. Good. I'm down to my last 10,000 ensembles. Proceed. Music. Excellency, here's Doug. And he's ready for a day at the jousting tournament in this single vented all chain mail creation from Sir William McGrath. Meanwhile, Evan can't wait for that next court picnic to show off his crisp but casual sunsuit in double thick sackcloth with real heavy metal trim. It's cute, but it's not me. Lord Bloomingdale, the Designer's Label Day Parade is coming up, and I want something new. Something fresh and exciting and daring and fun. Uh, yes, Your Excellency. <laughs> And sprightly, and wild, and zany, and... I wish he'd just shop by catalog. And I'm not paying retail! Hear ye, hear ye, old-fashioned designers. The emperor needs a new look for the parade. He wants something fresh and daring and fun and... Now you know the... Fresh and funner, or what? You want daring? I'll show you daring. Tray chic. I, I, I could get you this wholesale. Um, excuse me. Could somebody tell me the way to the Emperor's Palace? A and why do you wish to know, oh young stranger? My name is Benetton Esprit. I'm a designer. A, a fashion designer? <laughs> if they think that's funny, wait till they hear I'm also an accountant. Hey, you look familiar. Yves St. Bernard, Ralph Polo, Norma Tamale, the greatest designers in the known universe. Yes, we are, except from our tribal Norma Tamale, of course. Well, Polo, you grumpy little rat boy, are you on it? Esprit, I like your style. Do you know who I am? You're Coco Klein. I'll give you a little hint. I am Coco Klein. Props, get this woman a hearing aid. I'm a big fan of yours, Madam Klein. So am I. Come, you will be my assistant. Oh, it is true that the pay will not be very much. That's okay, as long as the hours are long and grueling. Ciao, everybody. See you at the Label Day Parade. D -d -d don't you just hate bright, fresh, young talent? You may have to do something about that young man. Stop, Norma, stop bickering and leave the poor boy alone. After all, the night is young. <laughs> These are removable shoulder pads. See? Perfect for the woman with removable shoulders. Hmm. And what is this abomination? Well, it's called a Hawaiian shirt. It's perfect when you're in a lazy luau kind of mood. Benetton, let me show you what fashion should be. Christy, put on the chunk-like tunic, dear. Christy, darling, this is Benetton Esprit. Benetton, this is my very rich and very thin model, Christy Dinkley. Please study this while I make a phone call, all right? I could study her forever. Not the model, the outfit. Hello? Nancy! When am I getting those dresses back? So, you're new here. Maybe I can show you the sights. Which sights did you have in mind? Oh, the moon and the stars. I 
I've heard about the moon. Can we go now? Um, don't you think we should wait till tonight? But then we won't be able to see anything. But Madame Klein, he's a genius. His designs are too practical, dear. But the Emperor wants something new. He might like one of Benetton's baseball caps. Come, Benetton, we're going to the palace. Excellency, Madame Coco Klein and Badminton is great. Well, Coco and Badminton, what have you for me today? Uh, Your Excellency, these are linen slacks with pleated vents and vented pleats, poplin dress shirt with French cuffs, Italian pockets, and Spanish fly. Coco, a technical question, if I may. Please, Excellency. Is this a joke? Now take this collection of monstrosities and split the royal scene. Christy, Benetton will be leaving us. Give him his pink slip. And also his yellow dress and his light green blouse. But Ben's work is so elegant. As we say in France, Christy, elegant, schmilligant. The Emperor wants something vogue, vague, and terminally hip. Now, au revoir. And a word of advice. Find a different line of work. But fashion design is my life. Then you're dead. Shut up, you. Goodbye, Benetton. And watch out for those other designers. They're cutthroats. I'll heed your advice. But where will you go? Somewhere. Somewhere there's a place for me. A place where a man can design an all-cotton dress shirt. With a roll collar and button cuffs? I don't know. But remember, whenever you look at the moon, make sure it's night. Huh? <laughs> like it was made from an old army tent. I have 35 of these upstairs. Next. Your Excellency, meet Christian. His three-piece matching ensemble combines the high-energy flash of today's go-for-it party animal plus the... Stop the What is the meaning of this? This? It's a pronoun, I think. I thought it was a preposition. It can also be an adjective. You know, put this orange on the table. What orange? <laughs> Never mind. You, what is your name? Guess who? I give up. No, guess who? I said I give up. No, I give up is my agent's name. Are you with Philip Morris? Me too. My lords and ladies, Douglas! <laughs> Yeah, Excellency, I think what this man means is his name is... Guess who? I can't. You can't what, sire? I can't guess who. All of you, you're under arrest. Ooh, especially you. My apologies, Excellency. My first name is Guess, and my last name is who? Oh, I see. Guards, throw this man out! But why? Well, for one thing, you're not wearing any pants. That's why I'm here, sire. Hold it! You march into my court and interrupt my private fashion show to tell me you're not wearing any pants? Sire, my pants are made of a new miracle fiber called Schmatex. It is more beautiful than silk, more durable than polyester, warmer than wool, and cooler than cotton. However, ah! it can only be seen by the vogue, the vague, and the terminally hip. To everyone else, it is invisible. Enough of this corny thought bubble. Anyone have a hairpin? Well, I thought his pants were yeah. fabulous. Subtle. Subtle. Yeah. Did you hear? Noble Woman's Wear Daily says, guess whose schmatex is hot, hot, hot! And Vanity Fryer says, guess whose schmatex is cool, cool, cool! We're ruin, ruin, ruin. We must forget our petty disputes and band together. Well, when we're done with him, guess who will be history? What ho? An ominous musical sting. Come in. Hello, I'm Ralph Polo. This is Schmatex. Interesting. 
where do you have this made? At the Haley Fabric Mills. Mm, yes, I wondered what happened at the Haley Mills. I'll take 2,000 yards. Sorry, Ralph, but I don't sell wholesale to the trade. Only to fine stores everywhere. This isn't easy, but it sure beats working. Vogue! Vague! Permanently hip! What's that smell? What smell? So this is the fabulous Schmatex. Much too damn town for us. Come, Christy. I suspected that Christy was an uptown girl. If Christy recognized me, she'd come back. But if she didn't, she wouldn't. If she did, and she didn't, then why didn't she? Yes. Hey. <laughs> this should be good. Please, I'm guess who, and you are? You owe our money from the Irish department store chain. What's that smell? What smell? So, what do you think of Schmatex? It takes a vogue, vague, and terminally hip attitude to see it. So, of course, you had no trouble. <laughs> right, great. <laughs> Thanks for the, uh, uh whatever. <laughs> Stuff looks great. <laughs> Probably, uh... Things are heating up a bit, huh? This show may not have any fairies or witches, but it has nudity. So stick around. <laughs> ah, don't worry, I saved the Schmatex. It was... Indescribable, sire. But what did it look like, Lord Bloomingdale? Like, like a combination of springtime and uh, air. <laughs> Indeed. Summon this guess who to the palace. Mr. Who, I would like you to create an original garment for me for the Label Day Parade. Out of Schmatex. I would be honored, sucker. I mean, sire. Your pay will be the usual astronomical sum. My treasurers, the Brooks Brothers, will visit you with the first installment in three days. <laughs> be sure you have something to show them. In that case, better make it two days. Christy would come back now while I'm glumly sketching her face, but no! Oh. We're the Brooks Brothers, the Emperor's treasurers. Albert, this seems a bit thin, doesn't it? Uh, well, you know, um, it's a work in progress. Oh, yes, darling! How is my Schmatex robe coming along? Huh? <sighs> <laughs> well, Albert, what's good enough for the very rich and very thin Christy Dinkley is good enough for us, wouldn't you say? Uh, good work, Mr. Who. Here's your money. Ugh. Farewell, guests, and don't spend it all in one place. There must be something there. But if it's a hoax, the Emperor will rip out his seams and stonewash his jammies with him in him. How'd you know I wasn't Guess? I guessed? Oh, Ben, I'm so proud of you and your schmatex. It's nothing. Just as I thought. But why are you doing this? To show these people what phonies they are. And to get on the 6 o'clock news. The Emperor is sending a limo for me. I'm going to dress him for the parade today. In schmatex? But that means he'll be... But what if he finds out? He'll rip out your seams and stonewash your jammies. What's worrying me more is how we're going to get away with this on a family show. Don't worry, darling. And don't go changing. I like it just the way you are. me parade down 7th Avenue. I want them to remember what they see for the rest of their lives. 
They will, sire. I guarantee it. Oh, goody. But first, I must ask you to take off all your clothes. Voila, sire. The sheerest of boxer shorts, made from 100% virgin schmatex. How often do I have to change these? And now the doublet, whatever that means. Sire, it's almost 11, and you're... Well, Lord Bloomingdale, what do you think? Sire, it's fabulous. It's a very lightweight outfit, you know. I feel like I'm not wearing anything at all. What you need, Your Excellency, is the cape. Well, it does have a certain uh, je ne sais quoi. I didn't know he was a conehead. seen Schmatex in daylight, it's startling. Yes, in the sun, it's as though you can see right through it. to laugh at this in about five minutes as soon as I've locked someone in the dungeon! Who exactly do you mean, sire? Yes! I seem to be stark, raving naked, Mr. Who! You lied to me! You tricked me! Oh, no, Excellency! Someone did lie to you, but it wasn't me. Stop that! No pictures! Mr. Who, if you didn't lie to me, then who did? Here comes the moral. Everyone you trusted lied to you. They did. And he did. And of course, they did. Well, I How never did. The signs are up. Sire, this man is a fraud. Daylight. That's not what you said last week. Here, sire. Put these on. Hey, these feel pretty good. Who makes them? A talented young man named Benetton Esprit. Benetton Esprit. That sounds familiar. Where can I find him? Right here. You know, not one of your designs is as comfortable as this. C -c -c comfort isn't everything, sire. You need us to tell you what's good. Not anymore, I don't. Watch this, ladies and gentlemen. 
In honor of this year's Label Day Parade, I am donating my entire wardrobe to you, my subjects. Go to the palace and take whatever you want. I'm serious. Do you want them or don't you? Yeah! <laughs> but, but they're commoners. They're, they're p -p 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 peasants. Since you object, I'm sending all of you to open a discount fashion outlet in one of our Antarctic colonies. And you. Hope it's a happy ending. Would you be interested in the position of official designer to the Emperor? That pig is taking my leather riding suit! Sire, is something wrong? No, no. It's just that I've always wanted to walk through the town square without pants. And this is the only chance I'll ever get. Care to join me? Thank <laughs> you.